Time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. Turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. Have you ever questioned what's truly out there in the cosmos? What mind-blowing mysteries the universe might be concealing from us? Well, you're in for a ride. We have a revelation so colossal, it's about to rewrite everything we thought we knew about the universe. Brace yourself as the renowned American physicist Michio Kaku unveils a discovery that's nothing short of revolutionary. Brought to light by none other than the legendary James Webb Space Telescope, which may have proven that time does not exist. Ready to dive into a space-time riddle that's going to turn your world upside down? The James Webb Space Telescope is essentially the Hubble Space Telescope's bigger, cooler sibling. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, this telescope has taken up residence in space, illuminating secrets from the universe's darkest and most distant corners. It's like the ultimate time machine, equipped with super-powerful infrared instruments that make it perfect for peeping into the past. How, you ask? Well, its unprecedented resolution and sensitivity allow it to detect incredibly old and faint objects that even Hubble couldn't glimpse. We're talking about distant galaxies and celestial bodies from the early universe, those elusive entities that have been playing an epic cosmic hide-and-seek with us. In essence, James Webb is helping us piece together the universe's grand, star-studded jigsaw puzzle, one infrared image at a time. Now imagine you're at an art gallery strolling past grand pictures captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST. The imagery is breathtaking, with distant galaxies shimmering across the cosmic canvas. Yet among the astronomers and cosmologists, you see shock and disbelief. There's a sense of turmoil, almost as if they're staring at a Picasso in a room full of realists. The common phrase you hear is, this is unexpected. So, what's the fuss all about? What's rattled the very foundation of their understanding of the cosmos? Although the official papers are tight-lipped about it, the real issue lies with a theory they hold dear, the Big Bang Hypothesis. This is the idea that our universe kicked off in a massive explosion about 14 billion years ago and has been expanding like a giant balloon ever since. This theory has been the cornerstone of cosmological understanding for years, and now, the new images from the JWST seem to question its validity, sending shockwaves through the community. You can almost hear Alison Kirkpatrick, a seasoned astronomer from the University of Kansas, tossing and turning in her bed, questioning her life's work. And there's another aspect to consider. The Big Bang Theory suggests that everything came into existence following the big explosion. However, if these galaxies existed before that, then it would mean the Big Bang didn't happen. This could be a game-changer for our understanding of the universe's origins. Consider the James Webb Space Telescope as a time machine in words of Michio Kaku, able to peer billions of years back into the cosmos, capturing images that shed light on the universe's origins. This incredible device isn't snapping photos in our familiar visual spectrum, though. Instead, it's focused on the infrared, revealing colors of galaxies so distant we could never observe them with our naked eye. Now here's the fascinating part. These colors aren't just beautiful. They're telling a story about the age of the stars in these galaxies. Young, fiery stars blaze a vivid blue, while their older, cooler counterparts, similar to our sun, glow in hues of yellow and red. By examining these colors, astronomers can estimate the age of the star populations in these distant galaxies. According to the Big Bang Theory, the galaxies farthest away in the JWST images represent a cosmic snapshot from around 400, 500 million years after the universe's birth. However, some of these galaxies appear to house stars that are over a billion years old. Now, if you've been following the Big Bang Theory, you know that's a big problem because nothing should be older than the Big Bang itself. Another expectation, if the Big Bang Theory is correct, is that as we gaze farther into space, which means looking further back in time, we should see fewer and fewer galaxies until we reach a point where there are none, a cosmic dark age, if you will. However, it seems to be a different story. Let us ask you this. 
Have you ever wondered if time as we understand it actually exists? Or is it just a human-made concept to help us separate the past from the now? We know it's a heavy question to ask, but stick with us. There's a theory that suggests that time is an illusion, crafted from our human memories. This theory proposes that everything that ever happened or will happen is happening right now. It's a little strange, isn't it? Let's dig deeper into this. You'd think, naturally, time flows forward, right? But guess what? The laws of physics don't actually demand that. These laws work just as well whether the time is moving forward or backward. If you've heard of the Big Crunch theory, it suggests when the universe finishes expanding and begins to contract, time might start to run backward. And as the universe shrinks, it'll get hotter. Sort of a Big Bang in reverse. You might wonder what comes after the Big Crunch. It's a question that has puzzled us all. Some theories suggest that a new universe may emerge from a fresh Big Bang, while others propose that our universe might reappear somewhere else entirely like a cosmic bubble popping into existence. There are even theories suggesting that this cycle might repeat itself over and over, leading to countless universes. This strange possibility of time moving in a forward or backward motion has led some scientists to a bold conclusion. Time, as we understand it, is just a human construct. They argue that we live in a block universe where space and time are interconnected, an idea supported by Einstein's theory of relativity. In this scenario, all events past, present, and future have their own coordinates in the four-dimensional space-time. What does that mean for us? Well, it suggests that everything is as real as the present moment. The past and the future are still out there, existing somewhere in space-time. MIT physicist Max Tegmark explained this concept beautifully. He said we could view our reality as a three-dimensional place where stuff happens over time, or a four-dimensional place where nothing happens. Everything just is. If it's the latter, then time is an illusion because nothing really changes. Everything, past, present, and future, is always there. It's certainly a lot to wrap your head around, but isn't it fascinating to ponder such questions? It shows just how frighteningly magical and mysterious our universe truly is. Then we have Julian Barber, a British physicist who has quite an intriguing perspective on time. In his view, our reality is a sequence of distinct now moments, like individual snapshots. Imagine flipping through a photo album where each picture is its own unique now. That's essentially how Barber views the universe. Barber argues that our perception of the past is simply a construct of our brain's memories, that is, we only feel like we have a past because we have memories of it. The actual concept of the past, according to Barber, might be an illusion. He further elaborates on this concept through his spatial theory. In this theory, each now moment exists in a place within a vast landscape, which he whimsically calls Platonia. Every point in Platonia represents a now, and this landscape itself follows perfect mathematical rules, making it timeless in nature. This perspective connects back to a much more familiar name, Albert Einstein. Einstein's theory of space-time is central to our current understanding of the universe. However, its implications and our comprehension of it have sparked some critical questions. What if Einstein's space-time concept was erroneous? Could discarding it entirely provide us with a clearer comprehension of the universe? This idea may seem startling, but it's important to understand that the realm of science thrives on such revolutions. Theories are continually being challenged, refined, and sometimes entirely replaced. It's through this perpetual cycle of inquiry and discovery that science progresses. A look back into history would show us how this process has unfolded over time. The geocentric model, which posited Earth as the center of the solar system, was widely accepted for over a thousand years. Einstein found this so disconcerting he dubbed it spooky action at a distance. But if we look at space-time through the lens of this modulus theory, things fall into place. If space-time is born from the quantum world, then closeness in a quantum sense takes precedence over physical proximity. As Herminic put it, it's like feeling closer to a loved one who's far away than to a stranger living next door. In the quantum world, these non-local connections are totally plausible. Friedel, Lee, and Hermannick have been diving into this groundbreaking idea for the past five years, and they're cautiously optimistic about their progress. 
The appeal of their approach is that it envisions a quantum world with gravity, instead of trying to apply quantum rules to gravity as loop quantum gravity does. The next big step for them? Incorporating time into their model. While all this might seem a bit abstract and purely academic, the implications could actually transform our daily lives. Our understanding of space-time affects our grasp of both gravity and quantum theory. As Hosenfelder points out, our current gadgets all rely on quantum theory, so a better understanding of the quantum structure of space-time could pave the way for advanced future technologies. The reigning theory of space-time, like any long-standing monarch, might soon be dethroned, and it's high time for fresh contenders. However, it's tough to predict which of the many theoretical contenders will eventually triumph. But when the revolution does happen, it could herald a new era of discoveries for theoretical physics. So what's the next move for astronomers, scientists, and physicists? What are your thoughts about this? Do you think James Webb Telescope might be the solution to our problems or might just be leaving us to question even more? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned for more mind-bending videos.